Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to follow me along on my total abdominal hysterectomy recovery journey. Um, this one's probably going to be pretty quick, but this is like my three week um, home or three week from surgery post-op recovery video. Um, basically just going over stuff from my third week. Don't have notes from this. I don't know why, but go for memory. Um, so this week I found was the biggest week in terms of like being able to finally be able to do stuff. The first week I was home, my dad was here and he did the majority of stuff for me. The second week I was still in a good amount of pain until my staples were removed. Once my staples were removed, things were starting to get better. And this third week was really like a big milestone in terms of pain. I finally felt that like my pain was getting under more under control. Um, I was off pain meds. I was eating, um, able to eat a bit better, which then helped my constipation and my bloating. Um, I was able to move a lot better, um, and I wasn't needing to nap every day. I would still nap most days, but there were some days that I really didn't need to. I also found that I could do stuff like I could um, do dishes or laundry and not feel like totally wiped out after doing it. Um, this week I also did a grocery shop with a friend. I had a friend take me out because I can't push a shopping cart and I wanted watermelon that I couldn't lift so I asked her to help me out so she took me out. Mind you, that trip was very exhausting. Um, I am very grateful that I had her to go out with but there was a lot of like walking and standing and waiting and it was a lot longer of a trip than I had planned and it was just a really exhausting trip. Um, like before surgery, I would have never thought, oh, just walking around and sitting, like I sat in the one store, um, you wouldn't have thought would, would be so exhausting, but it is. Um, even stuff just sitting in the car was exhausting that week. So, um, the trip was really hard and I also did not take, wasn't taking pain meds at the time. So I didn't think ahead, oh, take a pain med before you go. So it was just like, not the smartest thing to not take a pain med, and I still struggle with that. Um, thinking, oh, I should take a Tylenol before I go out, knowing that it's it's a lot for me. So, um, week three was basically that big milestone of the pain. The pain was getting a lot better. Um, I was just feeling more like pressure and like tension of things kind of, kind of going together. Um than actual pain like what would you call it not pressure I don't know what to tightening that's the word like tightening of things coming together since the stable was removed um the stereo strips came off also um I stopped using the gauze for the sweating because the tape was irritating the heck out of my skin and everything was just sticking like I would remove the tape and then put more on but the, where the tape used to be would leave like a residue and like my belly was like sticking to my thighs because I'm a big woman um, so everything was just sticky and gunky and things were hurting more from the tape than they were from the incision so I ended up switching to putting I have cloth pads putting a cloth pad liner on the incision at night to let it soak up any sweat at night time and then just trying to air it out as much as possible during the day. Um, that seemed to work a bit better um, because it just was really, really painful. Um, the, the tape, the tape was really painful. Um, so yeah, basically that's it for week three. I don't really have much else. It was just that big, that big jump of not being as tired, being able to actually do stuff and then having, not needing to take pain meds, which was really nice. So anyway, that's it for today guys. Don't forget to subscribe to follow me along on the rest of my journey. Questions, comments down below, and I shall see you guys there. Bye guys.